G'day guys, it's Nathan from Caravan RV Camping. Just taking delivery of my Bushranger Revo 12,000 pound winch. This is going on my 76 series Land Cruiser. Um, opted for this size as the 70 series are a bit heavier, so just a bit more pulling power. Um, this will be sat on a ARB bull bar, which we're doing a fitting for today, um, as well as some heavy duty springs from Superior. Some of the key features on the Bush Ranger Revo 12,000 pound winch include the 6.2 horsepower motor, the gearbox mounted brake system, the synthetic rope to save a bit of weight up front, and the wireless hand controller. Alrighty guys, just got finished up with the install on the bar and the winch. Now let's get out there and um, go try it out. Are you looking for a recovery kit for your four-wheel drive? Look no further than the Bush Ranger winch recovery kit. It'll include a snatch strap. If you're stuck in a beach, stuck in a bog hole. You'll have your tree trunk protector for when you are winching. the winch extension strap, two different sets of shackles, one 4.75 ton rated and one 3.25 ton rated. A set of gloves. You also have your snatch block, which will have two main purposes. It can alter the direction of the pull in case right in front isn't an option. It'll also half the amount of load on the winch. And finally, the recovery damper, which will be there in case of an emergency. Uh, so we've just come down to some local tracks and on the entry track we've managed to diff out both of the diffs so i'll run you through how to use the bush ranger winch so we'll use the tree trunk protector a shackle and the damper so we'll disengage the clutch So we'll wrap the tree trunk protector around the base of the tree. And then we'll get our shackle. Tighten that one up. Clip on the winch. And then we'll just secure the damper over the winch rope. And we're just going to re-engage the clutch now. It's a bit of a longer winch than we thought, so we're just going to detach everything and find another tree that we can push on a little bit further. So we'll start by taking the damper bag off. Detach the winch. Undo your shackle. and take it off the tray. 
we found a tree a little bit further up the track that we're going to use. Alrighty, so as you just saw, the winch has pulled us out and hopefully we can drive the rest of the track.